we just found out this Russian state-sponsored doping scandal is much, much bigger than any of us even thought. What should the IOC do? What can they do now that we just know how pervasive this thing was? It's insane. And uh, you're right. No one knew how big the effects were. Um, I just recently just signed a petition with other athletes from all sports, you know, track and field. Bob said wanting WADA to be separate from the IOC. Mm -hmm. And I think if they make that change, that we won't have instances where there's state-sponsored doping. You have to make a difference so there's no influence on one another. And I think that's the first step. And once they implement that change, they can have better control. And uh, then they need to go on and, and move on to, like, there's certain athletes, especially from the Sochi Olympics, that were robbed of medals. And they need to take a really serious look into that but to rectify that. You don't want to punish everyone for a few. But this was very, the scope was so wide and so deep. Should the IOC say to Russia, why don't you sit this next one out? We're not going to allow you to compete. Well, they already did in some instances, as in the track and field, the Russian track and field team was not competing in Rio Olympics. Uh, and so that was kind of like a pretty big statement. Um, but there needs to be, like I said, if they just continue to do that, the problem's going to occur over and over again because they're not actually fixing the problem. They're just putting a Band-Aid on it. So uh, they actually need to just make this change make our, uh, you know, WADA different and separate entity, and then that way they don't have influence and they have more power to do so because it's right now it's all under the same umbrella. And so that's why things are getting mixed up and it's just, it's putting a real pressure on the athletes who are clean. For me, I get drug tested all the time, countless times, at any time of the day. And when, it's, when you hear stories of this, you know, urine samples being passed through a hole in the wall and switched out for clean samples, it's like, well, why am I doing all this testing if at the end of the day, the person I'm competing against can just cheat the system?